Riverwood Community Church. What is up, guys? This is Armin Asadi, your interim lead pastor here. Hey, last Sunday, we really quickly touched on the fact that we need to make a Sunday format change. And we are doing that. And that's going to go live on July 30th, which is uh, Sunday. And wh what should you expect on that day? It is super simple. The only thing that's really going to change for you guys, if you're parents, is you're checking your children in to children's ministry prior to coming into service. It's not saying that you can't do that. It's not against the law. You can still feel free to bring your children into the service if you desire. But if you are willing to check your kids in prior to the service, it'd be a huge help for us. And the reason it's a huge help for us is, again, the, typically the, the data that you're looking for in terms of when you go into a second uh, uh, service or expand your building or whatever it may be, is you're looking at your auditorium on a Sunday and seeing if you're at 70% capacity. And with the kids being in there, it looks like we're at 70% capacity, but we're really not. Because as soon as you dismiss them and they go to class, we're less than 50% capacity. So um, what we're trying to do is if we can get the children to check in to the kids, it'll give us time to actually grow to being 70% capacity with adults that stay in the auditorium. And by that time, we've already built critical mass, which means we have more people that can do the volunteer roles, the leadership roles, et cetera, and not burn everyone out that is already serving. So all that to say, the purpose behind this change is to increase capacity, to manage the growth that we have, to make sure we don't turn people away, and to make sure we don't prematurely expand before we can handle it. So what will a uh, Sunday format look like going forward? This is it. We're going to, prior to service, have parents check, in, check their kids into the ministry. You'll see a five-minute countdown clock starting at 9.55 at 10 o'clock. You'll see a, you hear a quick greeting from the worship team for everyone to stand up. We'll go into our first song. Then the pastor is going to come up and do a more in-depth welcome to let everybody know that shows up to Riverwood. You are not there by accident. It is not a coincidence. You are there because of divine appointment and you belong here. And we're going to go out of our make way to make sure people know that. And then from there, we're going to go into two more songs of worship. Then we're going to ask everyone to greet each other, have a seat, and go into video announcements. As soon as the video announcements are over, you're going to see a pastor standing on stage ready to speak. After the message, we're going to do our tithe and offering, one last song, and then we'll dismiss everybody. So super easy, straightforward. What is our ask of you? Our ask of you is simple. Please check your kids into the children's ministry prior to service. Consider getting more involved because we need to start building and rallying our teams as we continue to grow to be able to pastor the people that are coming in. Okay, I, I hope that makes sense without me having to go too much deeper into it. And then lastly, these changes, uh, they're, they're buggy. <laughs> they come with a lot of hiccups. So we just ask, please show us a little bit of grace as we kind of go through this, get through the hiccups, debug it, and streamline it and make it right. Other than that, that is it. Um, if you have any questions, please make sure to email office at riverwoodonline.org. Again, that's office at riverwoodonline.org. So for now, be blessed. I'll see you guys Sunday.